in the mid nineties, I, um, I worked in television. Um, there was a, uh, at the time I was working as a, uh, news photographer, which is a cameraman. And I wanted to move into sports and, um, the station I worked with, I worked for back in Michigan. Uh, one of the reporters there, I was shooting with him and they were, um, and television, you don't hear about it as much as, as today as you did back then, but there was something called sweeps. You know, that was when all the programs ran their, their new programs coming out and, uh, series pieces, you know, for local news and all that. And, uh, we had a series piece. Uh, again, uh, and the interracial thing comes kind of comes into play here is that my um, colleague uh, was doing a uh, report on um, apartment discrimination. And so his girlfriend actually worked for um, NBC affiliate in Tampa, Florida, and she was flying up um, to see him and we were going to work together as uh, pretending to be a couple for apartment uh, discrimination piece. And, um, and we did, we worked on it. Uh, the second place we went to, we got discriminated against, unfortunately. And that, that place also, the testers in Michigan also um, uh, found the same thing, same issue huh. with that apartment complex. And we didn't know that until after it was done. But uh, my friend, uh, that um, his girlfriend, she was taking that position. There was a brand new station that was going to be opening up in Tampa, and um, and she remembered me working on the piece with her, and um, and I at, by that time I was working in sports at my station in Michigan, and um, she contacted me about um, an anchor position there. I didn't get the job the first time, but um, after that, uh, there was another position opening up as a reporter and producer, and um, they flew me down for the interview, and I got the job and everything. So that was a changer for me, is that meeting this individual actually led to a domino effect of me. One, my goal was I wanted to move out of Michigan. I wanted to move someplace warm. So I moved to Tampa, Florida. That's where the job was. I was ready to meet my future wife, I met her here. <laughs> and, um, and then I wanted to work in, in a top 20 market. So all three of those goals were met just from that person meeting her. And so I, um, her name is Carla. And I, um, you know, she actually, you know, came to our wedding, and I invited her to our wedding and everything. But that really was a time in my life where meeting her and meeting, uh, doing that piece led to just boom, boom, boom. So many more things in my life, positive things in my life, my goals that I wanted to reach, all three were nailed just from that encounter with her. So that was just, for me, that was awesome. And I never, never um, uh, forget that. So yeah, I mean, it was just, I was like, Carla, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't have met my wife. And I, you know, so that was just awesome. 